Welcome back to Soul Canyon Kitchen. Ciao tutti. Today we're making cauliflower steaks and we're making them in a lemon white wine sauce. Mm, I love this recipe. Yeah. And we're seasoning them with some nice, simple and yeah. really simple spices. We're using paprika because the color is so beautiful. So beautiful. And we start them in a, in a grill pan, but you can do it in a cast iron skillet or any pan. And then we finish them off in the oven mm -hmm. because that's where we bake that's that flavor in. Yep. Okay, you ready to get started? Cool, let's do it. So first thing, we're gonna, our pan is getting hot. So before we even tend to our cauliflower steaks, we're gonna drop some garlic in our pan. Make sure that is up. Mm, there's that first sizzle. Just to open that up and get some flavor going. Should we get yeah. it a little? Little splash. A little help. Yeah. There's that nice sound. Yeah, now you can stir that garlic into that broth. And it already smells good in here, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the veggie broth and I'm just gonna put some on this plate because typically people would oil their steaks and then the seasoning sticks to the oil. Yeah. But we always try to do it a little healthier We're version. making these oil free. And uh, really the only purpose for this is uh, to, so that the seasonings adhere to the cauliflower. All right, so cool. first thing we're gonna do, you gra grab one of those babies. Put and that look, in there. that's about how thick we cut ours. Yeah, and sometimes you can't even get to the same size because it depends on your cauliflower. No big deal. The fatter the stem in the bottom, the better you get it. Yeah, yeah. cool. So and I'm gonna get all those little nooks and crannies, sure. right? Cool. So why don't we just so start, start dusting some herbs on there? Yeah. yeah. We gotta get that. I think that's the one that we want the most of. Yeah. That looks good. And then this is thyme and you've got the oregano. Can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Never enough thyme, I always <laughs> say. I feel like that in my daily life. Okay. Mm -hmm. We need some smoked salt. Mm. That's smelling so good so already. Good. All right, okay. should we yeah, you ready drop that baby that? in there? Yep. All right. Do you want me to hold the plate? Yeah. All right, now I'm going to upside down in the middle. That's good. Cool. Next one. Let's what do you say we do a little squeeze yeah. of lemon on here? Okay. That. Just all in the pan. Yep. Yeah. And then you want to just put a little of our white little splash wine. of wine. Yeah. I'm, I'm almost feeling like I'm going to do it like this, sure. just because I don't want to make it a mess. <laughs> as much of a mess. So I think these are probably going to cook for about six minutes, roughly on each side. Before we flip them, we're going to add the rest of the seasoning to this side. And, and it's not important for them to get cooked through right now. No. We just want to make them beautiful with some grill marks but if we used our cast iron pan we we would still get the char but not right. the marks yeah. hopefully we get the marks yeah at some point yeah we think we should do it oh Ooh, looking yeah. good looking good see this one hold that that was the first one. Oh, oh my god perfect i like what i'm seeing okay time to flip time to flip should we do it with that looking good yeah Excited about this. Okay, so our cauliflower steaks are looking good. Get a little grill char on each side. Both sides are well seasoned. Now it's time for us to pop them in the oven. Yeah, um, we yeah. got it um, preheating. Preheating at 400 degrees. Yeah. And I suspect it's 20 or 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah, but we'll check. And we're going to cover them. Yeah. Yeah. I'll need some help with that. I mean, I mean this. Cool. This is the hard part. Yeah. Looking good, looking good. So it's been about 35 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You checked them at 25, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they needed, we, we stuck a knife in the stem, which is, you know, the, the thickest part, just to see how that was going. And it just needed about 10 more minutes. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think you said like 35 minutes total. Yep. And so, uh, and everything we. We just have, you know, all baked in there and our herbs on the top, and we're just gonna plate it now and do the best part, our yes. taste test. Mm -hmm. Cool. 
Okay, now for the best part. Tasting. Yay. Yeah. Look how so beautiful. beautiful. It is. We love the dried herbs yeah. in there. Yeah. They just look so nice. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Mm. Yeah, it was like all well, Yeah. Well, I got this whole arm right here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I, I taste the lemon for sure. I'd say that's one of the most most dominant flavors and it's nice and zesty. Yeah. Like I wouldn't, I think it's perfect. I agree. I love the lemon. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do any less than any more. Mm -hmm. But if you want to taste that lemon, because kind of without that, I would want to have done, it's got, I wouldn't add any more seasoning, but you want the lemon to come through. I, I've made this so many times because it's really one pan. Yeah. It's, for how beautiful it looks, it's yeah. really easy. Oh, for really good. So delicious mm -hmm. and so healthy. Not a stitch of oil in this recipe. And you guys, this is in the brassicaceae family, the cauliflower. Yeah. And in homeopathy, it's really well known for cancer. So the whole family of plants in there mm -hmm. is known for anti-cancer. Anti so wow. These kind of veggies you can just eat every day, really. You can eat them and you can do so many things like Margo said with them. So I'm really excited that we are able to create this without any oil. Yeah. Because there's times that we can't do a recipe without it, but this is one we, we made it. Easily. We made it easily. Yeah, mm. I like it. So good.